Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to perform a crude operation using the XML RPC in the Odoo and and we are using Odoo 16 community version and in case you missed previous discussion about how to get data using the XML RPC using different methods, please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is here and if you click here you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real task cases and how to integrate Odoo from the third party applications please check this playlist uh, especially for the XML RPC and for the rest API we will discuss in our upcoming sessions so let's back to our main topic like how we can do some crude operations last time you can see like we perform a search method read method search underscore count fields underscore get and the last one was the search underscore read right how to get data from the odoo for the specific model right so last time so like how to get a customer or the vendor data from the xml rpc so in this discussion we are going to see like how to also do uh, let's say the create a contact the customer or the vendor after that how to update that contact or let's say how to delete that contact the specific contacts right so for that uh, we will see in this discussion so for that like let me again create a new file rpc crude operation and here i will try to let's say delete all this code we already discussed how to authenticate odoo using the python script so this is the authentication part and if you missed that part please check the episode 2 of the xml rpc and now we are trying to create a new customer or the contact detail in the odoo site using this python script so here uh, let's say i will try to use the create as a inbuilt method of the odoo if you don't know odoo at all and still you want to integrate uh, this is the best episodes uh, for you only and if you already know about the odoo on not only the xml rpc that is also fine you will cover all the scenarios so here i will try to do one more thing is so here let's say execute and simple i will try to pass here the db name right then after uid and simple let's say this pwd the password and simple we can use here the model name right then after the method name and in any of the odoo version right the create method supports the dictionary in the dictionary format we have to pass here the key value pair i mean the key value pair we have to pass here right and we have to the key always should be the field name which is existing in the Odoo, right? So here I will try to add as a name and let me create a simple web lunch contact detail in the Odoo side. So for that, like it will return always list of ID. So let's say create contact and simple I will print like create contact. Okay. And that's it. Let's say run and now you can see the id is the 44 right and it's successfully created in the odoo site so let me confirm you can see last time it was 38 right records in the previous session so now you can see the one more added which is this one the web launch right you can see we created successfully this contact in the odoo side and you can see just now this record is created using this missile admin user why because we are using username as an admin if you are using with the demo right like let's say the demo demo if the password is correct then we we it will automatically create or it will rise the error for the authentication so you can see it successfully uh, created another one and the id is 45 right so let me go to here and now you can see total 40 record is there and if i will 
search here the demo you can see and you can see here the mark demo just created right you can see the demo contact we successfully created now the thing is let's say you don't want to only create a contact name only right because you can see here there are a lot of fields available the contact street street 2 right city zip country then after the text id email mobile number phone number and many things so for that you can just uh, add here that specific field name right the form 123 mobile 325 uh, right in the character field email let's say email at the test.com and here let's say street street one after you can say like street two sorry two like that street two zip three six something like that okay and let's create a new sample right and once I will execute this script you can see successfully 46 ID return right so here I'm going to here and search like sample and you can see here the sample name is there the street one street two the phone number is there mobile number and the email id rest you can also add many stuff uh, regarding the one to many many to many and uh, many to one right uh, you have to follow some rules so right now we will not cover everything because this is only the crude operations how to perform right in our upcoming sessions i will explain like how to perform crude operations using this many to one, one to many and many to many fields. So this is for the let's say creation part right. Now uh, let's say what about the let's say method equal to update right. So for the update you can just use the write method and here is it right. So I created this variable as a boolean operation dot execute right here you can use the same like pw model method right and simple you can also pass here let's say the name and for example let's say the same sample right I will try to use a simple as a sample to simple right so the crude operations like while you are performing right operations you have to pass two things the first thing is whatsoever fields you want to change and before that you have to pass here the list of id so in our case our last id is 46 right for this sample user so let me comment this part oh sorry not this one only this one and I will try to print here this variable. Now one more thing, it will always return in the right method true or false, right? So false means somehow the right method is not updated in the Odoo side and true means successfully updated that record, okay? So let me re-execute and now you can see it's written as a true. So let's go to here and confirm. You can see here the sample is here, right? And once I will refresh the screen, you can see it's updated as a simple, right? And you can see also here in the header part also you can see the ID of this record 46. Same we pass here. And let's say demo simple and web lines, right? So you can see here uh, these three records we already created using the create method right so 45 and 44 44 45 right I want to just update uh, one record which is let's say the website so for that like I will use here the website as a field name www dot 
weblearns.com for example let's say i want to mass edit right uh, what you have to do is like you have to just create here a list of ids which is existing in the Odo side and you have to pass here the dictionary which you want to update and now you can see it's available as a true and let's confirm so you can see the www.weblands.com right you can see all three records having the same website right either you can update one by one using the for loop okay or you can just pass here all the ids and the common fields you want to update right you can just pass here the single dictionary and yes let's say there is a one more scenario for the 45 you have to also update the name in the website right for the 44 you have to just update the phone number or let's say 45 you have to update the address so best thing is you can just update one by one not in the same way like what we did here okay so this is about the write method now let's say what about the crude operation right the d d for delete so here like we can use here delete no actually we don't need to use the delete we have to use here the unlink and here we can just use like is it deleted right and operation dot execute db name uid pwd model method and simple you can pass here a list of ids which is existing in the odoo so right now i don't want to remove the demo and the weblands contact only the simple one right then i'm just passing this 46 and the return also it would be always the boolean true and false right like this and now you can see here the true right so true means it will automatically delete this record you see right and if you see here you can see 40 record is there now let's say if you want to delete all these records right so you can just use 44 and the 45 so in case you want to delete mass edit you can just pass here the list of IDs and true and now you can see here like 38 record is here previously it was 40 records right so let's say web lands it's not found right demo it's not found the simple demo this is the mark demo right and simple or oh, let's say the sample which is not exist at the moment right uh, another thing is in the O2 also provide the soft delete and the hard delete right so maybe might be you will confuse like what it is right so I already explained this concept in this playlist okay so what is the let's say soft delete so let's say you are trying to create here simple record right you can see the id is 47 now this id sample right so this sample is right now created a newly record is created right now let's say you want to archive this order so simple you can use the write method instead of the delete method so you can just pass here 47 and just pass here active and false that's it now uh, let me comment this one otherwise it will create a new record you can see true right and now again i will refresh this search screen you can see that record is not available right and now you can see total 38 record is there so simple you can find from here in the archive state okay so total 
in the database side total let's say 38 plus archived record so total 43 record is inside the database but archived only 5 records and uh, active record is for 38 records okay so this is all about the crude operation so for the create you have to use the create method for the update you have to use the write method and for the delete you have to pass the unlink method so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can also do the same operation using the postman so see you in our next session